So the metal in the in the necklace was me- in the in the chain was measured by dropping the chain into uh, uh, some water and seeing how much the chain raised the water. So the beaker with the uh, chain and the water uh, measured 20 milliliters and without the chain it was 15 milliliters so the chain was 5 milliliters. Chain contains 5 milliliters of metal. So we have two measurements on the chain. One is how many milliliters the chain is, and the other is how many grams are in the chain. So one of the things that we don't know is the number of grams of gold that's in the chain. So let y equal the grams of the other metal that's in the chain. Then x plus y has got to be 75.9 because that's measuring all the grams of the two kinds of metals that are in the chain. So let's write a second equation that counts the uh, the total milliliters that are involved in the chain. So using a little bit of uh, dimensional analysis, we can discover that that the x grams divided by 19.3 milli, uh, grams, grams per milliliter will give us the number of milliliters. Um, contributed by the gold. Using similar reasoning, y divided by 9.7 will be the milliliters of metal. So if we count up the milliliters of gold plus the milliliters of the other metals, that's going to have to be equal to the 5 that we calculated before. Now we've got two equations, x plus y is equal to 75.9, and this equation in x and y, and we need to solve that system of equations. I'm not going to explain uh, solve that system here, but I just wanted to show you how we set things up to get the system of equations.